Good morning, children and families of St. Mark's. So, um, we are getting ready to open up children's ministry so that the families can drop off their kids and go to service. Uh, what do I know right now? Right now, I know that it will be for the one hour at the service time and that you will have to register. But I also know that more information will be coming out soon and we will be looking for ways to reach those of you who are not ready to come back yet, but still are looking for um, getting your lessons online. So we'll be running some tests soon to see how that works. But in the meantime, it's Sunday. Let's have a little fun. You ready? Okay. Ready? Okay. So I need you to do seven jumping jacks. Jumping jacks. You ready? Go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. You done? All right, how about spin around in a circle seven times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are you done? Okay, so let's make it a little bit harder for some of those elementary boys. Ready? Okay, seven push ups. Ready? Go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. Now, can anybody tell me what was in common there? Seven. That's right. It was the number seven. And the reason we're doing things seven times and the number seven is our key number today is because we're actually going to be talking about a story that comes from Acts 6, 1 through 6. And it was when the disciples had been working really hard and it got really busy for them. So they had to choose seven people to help them out and help them to do God's work. These seven people were chosen by God to do his work. Let's watch the video. Called Seven Special Helpers. Like working with your mom or dad while you make a cake or wash the car? It's more fun to share the work, isn't it? A long time ago, some people were chosen to help the apostles in a very special way. What is all of that noise? Peter asked. <sighs> Matthew sighed. Some of the new believers are arguing again, he answered. What are they arguing about? Well, Matthew explained, some of the believers who are not from our area the ones who speak the Greek language? Well, they're complaining that the widows in their group aren't getting as much food to eat as the Hebrew widows. A widow is a woman whose husband has died. It's so sad to hear them argue. Well, arguing is wrong, Peter said firmly. Let's call the people together and see what we can do about this. So that is what they did. When the believers were gathered together, the apostles stood up and spoke. We have an idea. We apostles do not want to stop our work of preaching and teaching the Word of God in order to serve food. So pick seven good men, men who are wise, men who are filled with the Holy Spirit. We will put them in charge of giving food to the widows. The believers smiled at each other. Hmm, this was a good idea. It was a good solution. So the believers set about choosing seven men and they chose very carefully. They chose men who were wise and full of the Holy Spirit. They chose men who were honest and truthful. Stephen, Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas. The apostles were very pleased. They gathered around the seven men and laid their hands on them and prayed. This meant that the seven men were being set aside to do a special work for God. The apostles prayed that God would bless the men and help them take care of the widows. So the apostles were able to continue their own special work of praying and preaching and teaching. More and more people heard the word of God. More and more became believers in Jesus. All kinds of people believed shopkeepers and farmers, weavers and sandal makers, even some of the priests from the temple. All the believers were important in the family of God, and the poor widows who needed food were loved and cared for. 
we can be God's helpers too. What can we do to help hungry people? Did you like that video? It was a little short. But here's the thing. God has chosen all of us to do his work. All of us bring special gifts to the table. Even you, even if you're only three, um, or seven, or 11. But we are all called and all chosen by God to do his work. And he usually has specific tasks for each one of us. Now, I'm gonna show you seven people that I know that have been chosen for this church to do some specific tasks. You wanna see them? Here you go. Did you notice some of those people there? Yes, those are all people of St. Mark's. So all of us have been specifically chosen and there's a little bit more than seven. <clears throat> As God kingdom grows, more people are needed. That includes you. Mm -hmm. Say hi families. Hi. Who's here with me today? What's your name? Leah. Greer. Greer's going to help me do our lesson today, our object lesson. So we have all of these M&Ms, don't we? Mm -hmm. And all of these M&Ms, they're going to represent all of the people, yes? Yep. All of the people. Okay, Greer. Hey, now, these M&Ms, Greer, look at me. These M&Ms are going to represent which people? Are these the special people? Yeah. Were these the people that were chosen by God? Yep. Yep. So where am I going to put them? I'm going to mix them up in here, okay, Greer? Okay. Now, Greer, mm -hmm. I need you to close your eyes really tight and try to pick out just the yellow M&Ms. There's one. Let's do it. There's two. Oops. It's okay. And three. Keep your eyes closed. Four. Five, six, seven. I got seven M&Ms in my hand. See that, guys? <gasps> Greer, are any of them yellow? Nope. Nope. Was that hard to pick out the yellow ones with your eyes closed? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I need to try again. Maybe you do need to try again. So hold on a second. We're going to see. These are the seven people that we picked out when... Um, we couldn't see what we were doing, right? Now, I need you to pick out seven yellow M&Ms for me, Greer. Go for it. There's lots of people in there, huh? Our people M&Ms. There's lots of them. And there's only seven yellow ones. Yeah. Now, why were you able to pick out those yellow M&Ms, Greer? Because I... I could, you could see them? Yeah. Yeah. You know, in our story today with the apostles, when they chose the seven, do you know that those sevens, they didn't have a big X on their head, Greer? Yeah. How do you think they knew who to cho how to choose those people? I don't know. I don't know. Well, yeah. I do. You want to find out how? Mm -hmm. Well, I think they were chosen because the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Who's the Holy Spirit? God. God. God had the Holy Spirit direct them to the seven people just like you. Come on back here, Greer. I can pick on me. Just like you. And he chose the seven people. So, these seven people, do you know what they were chosen to do? They were chosen to help take care of the people, the widows, and to give them food. Is that good? Yeah. Yep. Do you think you have a special gift? 
Yeah. You do. We all have special gifts, huh? Mm -hmm. So, um, the seven people had a special gift. And their special gift could have been organizing. It could have been um, being kind and praying. It could have been, what else do you think it could have been? Could have been gathering food. But they had gifts that God wanted them to use because they were chosen because of their gifts to help all of these people. Is that good? Yep. Say, girl, look at me. Say, it's good. It's good. Show me your thumbs. It's good. Mm -hmm. It is good. So, guys, just like um, the, the apostles and the seven people they've been chosen, God gives each of us a special gift, and it can be used for his kingdom. If I use my gift, Greer, and you use your gift, do we get to, like, tell more people about God? Hmm? Yeah, more people will know about God the more people that tell God about Him. Um, and is that what we want? We want people to believe in Jesus Christ? Yep. Yes. Say amen. Amen. Say bye, guys. Bye, guys. Have a great day. Have a great day. What do we got? That's right, I got a ball. What if I drop the ball? You don't want to drop the ball, do we? You know, uh, God wants us to get into the game. He has given us each a job and everything we need to do that job. What do you think would have happened if the apostles had just ignored the job that, of taking care of the widows. The ball would have been dropped. We can't drop the ball, can we? No, we can't. Would God's work have been done? Maybe. But, the seven people that God chose to do the work of working with the widows, they would have missed the opportunity to do God's work. So I encourage you not to drop the ball and don't miss the opportunity. God gives us each a special job. And sometimes we can get confused about what that job is. Some of us just think our job is to come to church. Well, we know what we're supposed to do. We show up. We do what we're supposed to do. Um, we get snacks. We get prizes. We have friends. We talk. Oh, yes. We get to go to church and we get to be served. Wrong. Our job is to serve God and to serve others. Don't drop the ball. So being a Christian, it's a part about, um, it's a part of being the church, but it's not about us. It's not. What if the players on a football team just went out there and they didn't play as a team? They didn't work together. What if the quarterback just thought he would run the ball in and all the people on the outside were ready to help him get there? But he wasn't able to get there. He got stopped because he needed the, his teammates to help him. People that play sports know that it's not about them. They can't just get the ball into the end zone. They can't make a home run. They can't get on base. And they can't make a goal if they don't use all the players. All the players are important. It's not just about themselves. It's about helping others and thinking about people besides yourself. And you know what? The apostles knew that too. That's why they served God. That's why when they were, there was a need and they had way too much to do, that's why they picked, um, that's why they picked seven God-chosen people to help them, to help them serve God and serve others. So once again, don't drop the ball. Give God your all. So I ask you, what have you done to serve God today? What have you done to take care of someone else? Have you done anything for anybody this morning? Pray and ask God. Ask God that he would allow you to serve someone else and that you would have a heart to serve someone else rather than 
dropping the ball. It's not about you. It's about God. So give God your all. In the next segment, we are going to see um, another science experiment from Jackie and Nathan. So let's see what they got for us today. All right. Hello, and welcome to some more science experiments. I'm Jackie. I'm Nathan. And we're going to show you a science experiment called Traveling Water. And this is going to help us understand better this, the lesson about the apostles who gave some of their responsibilities to seven, seven chosen men, right? Seven chosen men. Right. So what we're going to do is an experiment to show kind of how that happens, that transfer, right? Yeah. Nathan, please let the viewers at home know what you need if you want to try this on your own. Food coloring. Food coloring. Water. Water. Scissors. Mm -hmm. What? What is this? Uh, twine string. Twine string. It said to do kite, kite string. Kite string is the official term. We didn't. Yeah. We we don't have a kite right now. So, but we did find scissors. this twine. And it worked pretty good. The scissors are for, to cut the. Scissors are for the twine. So get an adult if you don't know, if you should not be using scissors by yourself. Step one. So step one. So this cup is actually going to represent the apostles. So they had this, uh, all these duties. So it's kind of yeah. like they just had so much to do. And they yeah. had so many people to take care of. And so, so other much. people were being neglected. And they said, yeah. we can't be everywhere once. It's kind of like mom, you know? Yeah, you I gotta work and do the laundry and cook and help you with your homework and Dad it's cooks. like I need help. I need help. Dad cooks. Yeah, so I had to I had to get a helper, right? Yeah, dad's your helper. Yeah, yeah. I have a helper. Right. Dad's your helper. Yeah. Dad's my helper. So these apostles found seven men and they said, We need your help. And you guys are gonna be great. So the apostles have some of their responsibilities and oh, they're yeah. gonna transfer it to the seven men. So to do that we're going to do that in a very unique way. With some, the... With our, our string here. Tight. So we're going to cut yep. it. I like to do arm, arm's length. Arm length. First, you're going to get this wet. Oh, yes. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Way. We have learned what? to go get a fork. That way you're not Getting digging around in there. Wet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, give it a little I already spin. got some wet on me. Give it a it's spin. It's fine. And we're going to pull it back out. Woo! Actually, let's put it in there. Make sure it's real wet. Not too wet. Yeah, don't let it Remember soak. Remember that? Yeah, we yeah. had an incident earlier. Yeah. Which is also why we recommend this tray. If you happen yeah, to watch just, our, just, mm. if you see our bloopers reel. What bloopers? If, if the blooper reel gets released. Oh, yeah, the blooper. Yeah, you'll we'll, see how this we'll. didn't quite work a few times. So we, we might we, add it at the end. Maybe not. Maybe not. Probably not. But we found the right yeah. string, and now it's all good. Yeah, we, use, we were using this stuff. No. That was like yarn. Not good. Too squishy. Too, too squishy. Yeah. Too okay. thick. So get ready. This apostle is going to transfer some of his stuff to this happy young man over here. He's winking. That's now what you're going to do, you're just going to use your finger, hold it in here. Yes. Your finger's going to get wet, but that's okay. Yeah, your finger will get wet. And then hold it in here. What we're going to do, we're going to tilt this one so that the... Uh, String isn't touching the cup. Yeah, we don't want it to touch at the bottom because it'll get goofed up. So we're going to pour this, and it's not going to dump all over the table, right? Yeah. Nathan? It's not going to dump. I mean, look. It's it scary. Would, you would think because, like, it's way over here. Yeah, the it's, cup's it's way over scary. here. It's scary. Look at that. And you think, look oh, my that. gosh, I'm going to dump this completely all over my dining room. But that's also why we have a tray just in case I'm it's scared. a mistake. Yeah, I'm scared. Pour it. Here we go. Here look we go. at this. We got a couple of. Yeah, do it nice and easy. We got a couple of. That's okay. It's fine. But it travels down the string. And into. And does not dump all over my table. Yay! Da 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 da! da. Wait what? a minute, Nathan. How yeah. many people were there? Seven. I only count one. More. Oh, goodness. Let's we have more. do more. We have this more. guy got a mustache one, though. Wee wee. All right. Purple. We decided gray. we want to do this seven times. We because there's seven people. We got to be true. Them. We got to be true to the story. Yeah. Oh, just put that up. And we already have food coloring out, so might as yeah, well. Yeah, might as well. All right. Grab all the cups. Wait. Okay. So Andy, we got our Andy. string wet. Cups. And this guy, guy number two. No, he's wrong. Their names are in the Bible. You can look it up. It's an um, axe. 
Who is it? Chapter six, I believe. Okay. Okay, we're gonna Wait. fold it up. I'm scared every time I do this. Yes, me too. Even though we're not doing anything. There we go. Yay! It's traveling down the string. Yay! It You've gave done it, Mom. So, there you go. Look, Man number two some. has some responsibilities now. We have numero three. Numero three. We put cut this one. Yeah, we put cut the same time on television. Yeah. You want that fast that thing? No, we didn't want to do that. You need to see the actual fear in real time every time I almost dump a cup of water on my dining room table. Oh, no, 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 no,
7 through 8. Now let's read it together. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. And I have remained faithful. And now the prize awaits for me. The crown of righteousness. Which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on the day of his return. And the prize is not just for me, but for all who eagerly look forward to his reappearing. So that's your scripture verse. That's actually our memory verse for, for this um, next quarter. And um, I encourage you to work on that verse with your children. Let's not drop the ball. Let's get ready to pray. Prepare your hearts and prepare your minds. Ready? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just um, we just thank you that we get to come to you in this way to serve you, to spread your word, to um, reach our children, to help them to understand that they have an important part in your kingdom and that they are chosen by you for some specific task. Help them to know what that task is today, Lord. Lay it on their hearts so that they can um, serve others while serving you, Lord. Um, I pray that our children um, give their all to you, that they don't drop the ball. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. So families, have a great Sunday. I don't know how we're going to be meeting next week. I don't know if it's here or if it's Facebook Live, but we will get more information out to you. In the meantime, remember, be blessed. You are chosen by God for a specific task to serve Him in great ways. Bye.